Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, dear viewer, with me, Patrogas. Last time we didn't have too, it, we didn't have much, uh, too much luck. <laughs> and I made some uh, bad decisions, basically. But I, I, I played a bit since then and I, and I made some decisions. For one, uh, since it's... Since I was out of the game for too long, I had uh, too much trouble with them Duergos. Let me just check something really quickly to see if I can do something while we talk. Um, eight hours. Okay, so they won't despawn so I can safely teleport here because we forgot a room here. We forgot that and we have to do that. Um, first off, I will start to cut out things if fights uh, go too long because you know it's uh, or rather not go too long but um, if I die seven times to <laughs> you know to a pack of two eggs you, you will not watch this you will watch one failure and one success okay so that's the first change the second change is that we will I said last time we, we went up here but I forgot about the golems and that is something we would have checked out first I'll try to be a bit more in character, but uh, I got frustrated last time a bit, so that was... Yeah. <laughs> but we're, we're better. We got better. And now it's time to kick some golem ass. Hopefully I will not <laughs> get destroyed completely now. <laughs> because that would suck. And let me just check if... Yes, the recording is on. Uh, now it should... The counter should be away again. It's, it's a bit uh, tedious with... With the Infinity Engine and, and Throbs, because you always have the counter up here, or you have to, you know, play without it. I thought it could be done differently, but I was wrong! In a word, I was wrong. So, now we will use... We'll, we'll, because we really have to, we will use um, more spells. Now, I will explain my tactic, and then I will try to do it. I will tank... I will attack the golems one by one. And I will detect this and the other and the jailkeeper golem too, just to see what happens. And then I will tank the Im uh, tank with Imoen because she's immune to attacks now. Basically, nothing the golem does can hurt her. Everyone else can be hurt though, <laughs> so we'll try to minimize that um, by by having her tank first and the skeleton a bit away. I would I would like to to save the skeleton a bit more, but. Oh well, you know, if it dies, there's no harm done. We won't, we I just want to keep warrior and priest, because really I need them. Alright, I have, I forgot to heal them up a bit. <clears throat> Inventory management, ahoy! Yeah, that's, that's much better. Okay. You will take one of this, just in case. Armor of Faith says 5% or maybe 10 now, I think 5 per 5 levels or 5 per 4 levels a percent of damage reduction, which is greatly helpful. <laughs> and he will also take drop and all in might so he can hit things. He could enrage. The thing is enrage makes him immune to a lot of things and gives him power and strength. But it will take give him thirty damage, so I I'll try to not do it, actually. Okay. Okay, let's see how it goes. He's still attacking Emo, and that's great. He's barely injured. Now he's injured. Yay! There you go, Dark Warrior. Yay! Hey, hey, hey! We're doing great. Thirteen damage from Priest. Yes. Come on, die. Die. Sweet! That went well. Now... Mm. I f still feel that this is a bit cheesy. Not too, not as cheesy as, as the block the way tactics, of course, because that was hilarious. But yeah, we, we needed that, really. Oh, no, 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 no. But... Hmm. 
I guess, I guess we, 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 we would attack them or, or try try stuff out, you know. Maybe they would attack us anyway if we enter the room. The golems in here are quite silly and that went extremely well. I didn't, I tried this uh, two or three times off screen just, j j just to get back into the game, you know. Um, and it, it never went so well. And I had much more buffs on Priest, and I had Haste and stuff, and I didn't want to do it with Haste, really. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Yay for us. That went that went extremely well. Uh, and also, we will just explore. Just explore, because there are more Dwergers ahead. And I won't... And I would explore this. If I had explored this, I would explore these rooms. Oh, come on, Amy. Don't be like that. Nobody likes that. Ah. <laughs> Horrible. Also, I won't use the uh, control Y cheat, the teleport cheat to... Uh, not Y, J. Control J. Control J is teleport. Ah, come on! I won't use that while we have buffs active, because then it would give us an unfair speed. Uh, then it would give us unfair, unfair speed. You know, you know what I mean? Whoa! <laughs> so there's. Huh. I think there's an invisible mage somewhere around here, and and three. Or maybe it's just three dwergers because. So the mages are female, I see. Okay, and she made her her, her, uh, her check. Now we will open this door and basically unleash hell because this door, wow! Run, Imi. Well, then again, because yeah, she she failed her. Hmm, should she know? No, I will not play it like she doesn't know if her hide in shadow succeeds. Because that would result in a style left and right all through the game. That would be too much. So now here we have Rasputin. One of the improved Ilyich guys. This is, imp this is the improved Ilyich encounter. Let's see if we... Hmm. Give me some direction. We will actually tackle this now. Yep. Because I wanted to show this off, we would have gone there and... and there's go? another wardrobe of Duergas and there's another and there's a method. We won't care about them or him. We will care for one enemy in here. Oh, and here's Ilyich. Yes. What is my On my honor. He's a gentleman and a scholar. <clears throat> and he has two magical plus three weapons. Oh. And look at that, a Glabretsu. That's a demon, and he can see us. Run, run, Imoen, while you still can. Now, um, she would run. She would run, and she would probably attract the Glabretsu. And we will run past them because now I can. He he runs back. Okay, okay. Imoen would not want to to uh, kite him back here, in this situation. I think. What we are going to do, because I said that we were going to do, is we are going to t attack this golem, just to see if he, you know, we are not, we are we are prisoners here, you know, you realize that, and we we, we do not take kindly to this sort of beha of of treatment. I I just I just hope the club raids really went back and didn't follow us without me noticing. But that that would be bad. Okay, so we can't hit him. It's no... Yeah, okay. I would destroy uh, Irenicus' golems, but we can't. With our weapons, at least. Let me just make a little spot check, uh, listen check. No, no, we can't hear them. Okay. Phew. <laughs> the Glabrezo sees through invisibility and through sanctuary. And also, of course, through uh, hiding. 
because hiding is invincibility, uh, invisibility in this game. Okay. Oh, we can we can actually hit him. Skeleton did seven damage, but our our skeletons don't. This is interesting. This is very interesting. I didn't know about this. But yeah, the golem's going down. Oh yeah! Skeleton? You can't do anything. Emoen is useless too. Does it have a... I have no idea why he, he is doing on damage. <laughs> Sweet! I, I didn't know that was possible, to be honest. We would have done this uh, before now, of course, but I just remembered that the golems and stuff. <laughs> yeah, meta gaming, I know. But this is hard enough as it is already. <laughs> so bear with me. And I will not stop. start with the unbearable puns. Just to, to save you uh, the, the bother. Okay, uh, while he is attacking, we, c we can actually explore this, this stuff. This is great. Ah, uh, I love the skeleton. I love skeletons. They're great.